All right, welcome. Today I'm working on changing the oil and oil filter in my 1990 Yanmar 3GM 30F motor. Process is pretty simple. We're going to take off the old filter, remove the old oil, put on a new filter, and fill it back up with the right amount of oil. Let's get started. Let's look at some of the tools we'll be using today for the oil change. I've got a new filter. I've got that labeled with the current month so that I'll know in the future when I put it on the engine. I've got an filter removal tool, wrench for grabbing greasy filters. This is my oil extracting pump, a funnel, and of course a PX1037 uh, oil, used oil uh, vessel. The first thing to understand about the process is that this is a normal in internal combustion engine. The oil that we're trying to change sits in a pan at the bottom of the motor. Now, normally in your car, you drive up over a uh, uh, pit and an oil uh, change guy could crawl under there and open up a oil drain and remove the oil that way and it's very easy. That is not uh, how, uh, it's not possible with a sailboat application because there isn't room to get under the engine. So what we're going to have to do is suck the oil through the dipstick hole out of the uh, oil pan um, and that's how we're going to extract the old oil. In order for us to do that, the oil needs to be viscous it needs to be slippery and runny and the only way to make that happen is to run the engine until the oil gets hot all right so i just warmed up the engine here a good amount of time 20 or 25 minutes uh, my first step is to pull the uh, oil dipstick so i'm about at uh, a third of the acceptable range all right now the next step is to take the uh, narrow end of my extractor pump Put it down the oil dipstick hole and fill up my empty jug. The Yanmar 3GM 30F has a, a capacity of 2.6 liters of engine oil. That's about two and three quarters quarts. After you've warmed up the engine, it helps to open the engine oil cap to let the oil drain down out of the system and the filter down into the pan. Well, so here's where I am after about 10 or 10 minutes of fiddling around with the pump. I've probably only got about maybe a quarter of a gallon out. I, there's a lot of oil, dirty oil that I'm not able to remove. One of the challenges is that you're sticking this flexible hose end down into the oil pan and it moves around and it needs to be immersed in oil in order to uh, suck the oil out. And it's really hard to do that when the, you stick it down the oil uh, a dipstick tube and it moves around once it's inside the oil pan cavity. So I'm going to call this good for now, but it's another reminder for why, I, because I've unfortunately had to leave some dirty oil in there, um, why I need to do this on a frequent basis to make sure that there's still enough clean oil getting through the system. All right, as we're facing the front of the engine, the oil filter is located over here on the port side. All right, here's the old filter. We made a bit of a mess taking that off. Um, got some rags down in the engine compartment cavity there. Uh, but now we'll spin on the new one. All right, today we're putting back in Shell Rotella 15W. This is uh, diesel engine oil. And here we go. I'm gonna stop and see where the oil dipstick uh, level indicates. All right, the dipstick only shows about a third full and we haven't operated the engine. We need to do that to bring the oil up into the oil filter, which will accept uh, greater capacity. All right, so here's our final look at the dipstick. It's important not to overfill past this line uh, there's there's a small risk that oil could get into the fuel system and then the engine would uh, run uncontrollably and that would be a bad thing. Uh, so don't overfill past the fill line and there we have it. That's our oil change for the Yanmar 3GM 30F. Thank you. 